Okay, it's recording. All right, I don't do this a lot, I guess. Bear with me. Start with the ones that people ask me. Why did you start drawing and what thing, person, group of people have the greatest impact on your view style of art? I seriously started drawing because um, the Warriors books, really, I started drawing cats. <laughs> I was really not happy with the fact that I couldn't draw cats, so I kept um, practicing, and it, I don't know, I guess it developed into this, this thing called my life. The people who inspired me most was the ones who kept believing in me and kept thinking, oh, she, she'll turn into something. Uh, Zeeb, um, <laughs> and all you. People's Ebbs, Ebony Cloud was one of my biggest inspirations because she um, was like, oh, I want to I wanna draw like her someday. Yeah, Z, Midnight, um, and my new friends too. I mean, you guys rock, Andy, and my other new friends. I don't do this a lot. I'm kind of drawing blanks here. I love you guys so much, though. You're like my biggest inspiration and such. What is your favorite design for Kobe, other than the current one? My favorite design that, because a while, like last year, I think I held a sort of contest because I wanted to redesign her, but I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Um, MB, um, your design, it was, it was, her was so cool. It was like, it was totally fit more for her way of drawing rather than mine. The design was so complicated. It was beautiful, but I couldn't draw it at all. She had um, white marks on her back. It was so cool. If I have a, if I can find it, I can. I'll show y'all. It was amazing. Oh, <laughs> who's your favorite character from Homestuck? No one has one single favorite character from Homestuck. I don't think. If you do, you're not a proper fan of Homestuck. But my favorites are Tavros, Vriska, John. Of course, John. John. <laughs> Vriska, John, and Tav, Solix. I love doing Solux. He's so fun to just talk. It's just Solux. <laughs> I found constipated. <laughs> Calliope, or Calliope, or whatever you want to pronounce it. And Jane. Because Jane is just, she's awesome. Why, why so much of an art when you're so amazing and you shouldn't have a reason to be sad? Um, <laughs> I don't know why I've been, I just... I just, I draw what I feel, and if I feel sad, I feel sad, and I draw it rather than punching somebody in the face or crying alone in the corner of my bedroom. Um, um, thank you for thinking I'm amazing, Andy. I love you. What's your natural hair color? This. <laughs> That's my natural hair color. Where does your ID, ID pic taken? I drew it <laughs> on my computer here in my marvelous bedroom. Are you with your current relationship status for Ramon? What's your current mood? <laughs> this makes me laugh whenever people ask me this. It's like, one does not simply ask me this question. <laughs> What's the color of your underwear? I'm so not checking. Now, if you must be an animal for one day, you'd be a griffin or something. That'd be so cool. You'd be like, you could fly, but you could like peck people's eyes out, and then you could have a lion butt. Have you ever had a near death experience? Not that I remember. Do you, something you do a lot, uh, I draw, I roleplay, and I read Homestuck. My life in a nutshell. Um, when was the last time you cried? Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. What's the name of the song stuck in your head right now? I have Be My Escape by Brilliant K stuck in my head. What's the first thing you notice about the opposite sex? Probably their hair, or whether or not they have glasses, vests are hot. <laughs> If you could have one superpower, what would it be? I'd fly. Flying. What's your favorite color? Green. When was the last time you lied? <laughs> I don't know. Do you still watch kitty movies on kitty movies or TV shows? Uh, yes, who doesn't? I mean, My Little Pony. <laughs> Brody. <laughs> um, SpongeBob. I watch. I mean, my entire movie collection is just like Disney. I have Garfield, Happy Feet. Uh, Shark Tale, The Lion King, of course. Who doesn't love The Lion King? Lady and the Tramp. I got it over the summer. I was so happy. I was like, oh, gee, Lady and the Tramp too. That was my favorite movie. I was a little, still love it. I haven't seen it forever. If you could describe your life 
in one word, what would it be? I can't use one word to describe what I'm in right now. When was the last time you gave received a hug? I don't know. What should you be doing? Homework that I probably have that I don't necessarily remember. When was the last thing you made me upset? Eh, too many things made me upset. If you could have any last name in the world, what would you want? I have no idea how to answer that question. Smith. And five things in your closet. Um, a deflated balloon, belts, back, several backpacks, clothes, uh, blankets. Oh, when I said a puppet thing, I missed one. When was the last time you slept with a stuffed animal? I don't remember, really, but I had like a whole, like, pack of stuffed animals over there. You can't see them, though, because it's a mess over there. How many times do you take a shower a week? Probably five or six. I don't usually shower on the weekends because I don't go anywhere and I'm super lazy and I don't want to do anything. Gross or whatever. I really don't care. Have you ever watched a hockey game? Yes, but not all the way through. Do you lie about your age? Sometimes, not really. What's one food you hate? Call me original, but I hate broccoli. Have you ever blown your nose and looked inside the napkin? Yes. Because <laughs> I want to make sure I got it. <laughs> Describe your favorite underwear. I don't have favorite underwear. I don't understand why anybody would have favorite underwear, honestly. What? I'd be like, the statement below is true. The statement above is false. Freaking paradox up in here. I don't know.